All right, the big final step as far as our standard moldings throughout this space go is the columns and these pilasters. Now I've made these, uh, when the model was originally made, I've made them components. So we really only need to deal with one at a time. Um, so I'm going to take a copy of my base and my crown. I'm going to combine those with this column. So I'm going to select just the col just either a column or a pilaster and then a copy of the crown and, and I'm going to lock them and then select everything and hide everything and unlock this so that I can work on just this alone. Okay. <clears throat> this is if I explode this now, it's now no longer a component. So I need to actually get these guys inside this group. So if I open this group, if I open this component up, what I want to do is I want to group this because I want to keep this safe still. So I'm basically grouping within a group, which is something I know in the past I've told you, you know, not to do. But in this case, it's it's actually an effective method because this is you're grouping the component, and so when you open up the component, you now have a group sitting inside, but the component itself will still hold true. Let's start with the crown. I'm going to just edit, copy it. So I'm hitting Apple C, or I can go to Edit, Copy. Now I'm going and opening this up, and now I'm going to paste it in place. You can see why it was a good thing to group it, because this is now not going to interact with the face of that column. And I'm just going to move it into play. I'm just moving it up so that it's working with the shape of the column. So the top is aligned with the top, and the uh, bottom is flush with the side. Now I'm going to make a new shape. This is going to be my path. I'm going to move this up into place and delete that center face. Go ahead and explode this. And the good thing is it doesn't fuse with the column because the column is a group. Select a path by double clicking. Activate follow me. Click once all the way around and it copies all the way around. Now I can triple click on that and group it. Let's unhide for a second to see what happened. Good. I got, I got um, the same thing happened on the other columns too, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm gonna un undo that. Just, just, I was just basically checking. I'm not gonna delete this path just yet because I need the path for the base as well, but I don't need this, uh, this crown anymore, the profile, so I can delete that. So let me, again, copy this, open this up, and paste it in place. I'm just going to move it in place until it's aligned. Now I can explode it. Activate this path by double clicking on it, going to follow me, and then hitting follow me so it follows all the way around. Now I can triple click on that and group it. Now I don't need the path anymore, so go ahead and delete. Now I just want to offset the little insets on this, on this column. So I'll just open the column up, and at the bottom of the molding, if it's lined up well, I can just use this as a reference point and trace around the edge so that I get an additional line. So I'm just tracing from one point of the bottom of this to, to the next. So that now what I've done is I've separated this face from this face up inside. A quicker thing to do might be to just do this and push pull it up, but that's not really the way it's built. So I, I try not to I try not to like take shortcuts like that if it's going to be uh, problematic down the road because I actually want to see the thickness of this column if I ever cut a plan. Okay, so I've just drawn all the way around from face to face so that I can see that the edge of the line is right there. Now I'm just going to offset uh, two inches all the way around. And you, it, it kind of helps to select the face before you hit offset. So offset two, select that face again, offset two, enter, and then the last face, select it, offset two. Then push pull three quarters in. So I'm just going around and I'm just push pulling this three quarters and I'm really doing it at three quarters just so it's pretty obvious from far away. 
Okay, I don't need this base anymore, so I can delete that. And then I can unhide everything. And let's take a look at our scene and see how that worked out. Great. So we have a, a component that now this is its own group, this is its own group, and this is its own group. So if we ever want to edit that, we're in good shape. Okay, great.